hop in, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all my up and coming videos. And lastly, thank you for watching. Now, let's get into it. Anita, come. Where are the puppies? They should have arrived by now. So, reality TV star and EJ Johnson's best friend, Lyric McHenry, was found dead on the streets of New York. I think it was August. 12th or either 14th I'm sure it was the 12th but if I'm wrong then I will put the correct date in the captions now authorities say that she was found wearing a pajama top and underwear but no pants the reality star was 26 years old and approximately five months pregnant according to sources she was transported to um, Bronx Lebanon Hospital and it was unknown as to what was the cause of her death but people are speculating that it was related to drugs because I think there were also claims that she had cocaine on her when her body was found right now the thing about it is is that since the date that her body was found people have all been waiting on bated breath to hear what ej has to say about losing his best friend and you know people grieve in their own time they grieve in their own way and um today ej actually kind of sort of spoke a bit about it on his instagram I'm going Let's to make this clear to everyone. There will be no morning post because I'm not going to reduce a 25 year friendship to one Instagram post. Please respect my privacy in my process. Now, wait a minute. Now, I respect your privacy in your process, but where's the commas and the damn periods, EJ? But OK, let me get back to the matter at hand. EJ, I respect you. Shouldn't nobody be rushing you to make a statement or say anything? It seems like y'all two were best friends since you were children. Let's respect it. Y'all get off his back. Go take a seat. Go drink from somebody else's fountain. And when he get ready to talk about it, he'll talk about it. Hey. So the good part is that Page Six reported today that the local police are now hunting for a man who might have been the last to see her alive. The unidentified male was spotted on surveillance video walking near the scene where she was found. So that's good news. We have a problem. I ran now we have a problem. You, you are. You always have situation. a problem, Evil Lynn. No, I have a problem right. with you. Everybody. I have a problem with you, Lily. What's Lily? The nail shop girl. So it's racist. She's racist. I you never even gave me a chance to get to know you. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! Hi guys, so I wanted to make this video following my statement because I know how impersonal statements can be sometimes. I wanted to publicly apologize to Cece, her son, her family, my friends and family, the viewers of the show, anyone that was offended by my comment during a heat of the moment argument, um, regardless of what was being said behind the scenes and how I felt, what I said was wrong and I should have never said that. That's not even who I am and how I was raised yeah. and how I was raised I don't want to add you know uh, the world is already divided and I, I don't want to be a part of that that's not even who I am so um a work in progress and I apologize to anyone that was offended again I apologized to her a few weeks ago we talked about it she apologized for things that she said and we both moved on but i felt i had to apologize to anyone else that watched the show that was offended that will never happen again
Okay, because I'm the person that believes that a person can make a mistake, apologize for it, grow and learn and become a better person from their mistake, I'm I'm not going to say I'm easy to accept apologies. I'm easy to accept the first apology, maybe the second apology. But I'm not going to lie, I do feel a certain kind of way when people misgender somebody, um, is says disgusting things about people's race. And I only feel this way because as I grew up, I had a friend that was half Japanese and black. And people used to make fun of her and... Um, you know, just like, uh, what's the name of your Chinese friend or what's the name of your, uh, you know, Filipino friend or whatever it was. I'm like, you know, the proper term is Asian. Like, I feel a certain way. And I think because I have a special needs nephew that I'm kind of, you know, sensitive to certain things. Like, I don't like when people use the words midget. I, I you know, say the correct terminology, um, little people. It's just that Evelyn should be grown enough and mature enough to know not to call somebody a racial slur because that's indeed what it is. By calling her Lily, as in Lily from the nail salon, was disgusting. Now, let me take it to another thing because, guys, we got to always touch the zodiac when it comes to me. Evelyn's birthday is December 10th, okay? That means she's a Sagittarian. I'm telling you that Sagittarian mouth is something to reckon with. The only thing that can trump a Sagittarian mouth is a Virgo mouth. I'm telling you. Y'all be reckless as a mother sucker and then get up and look around like, oh, I'm telling the truth. It's the truth. Child, somebody gonna hurt y'all one day. You need to check how you talk to people and the things that you say. Because the next time you say something reckless to somebody and you believe in it's the truth, somebody going to show you what the truth really is. Somebody is now, somebody explains to me what in the heck is in this girl's neck. Now, I read that it's some type of glow in the dark thing that is not permanent. But I think it's something that Kanye mess has conjured up in his mind and, you know, made his wife as close to Wakanda as she possibly can get. Because, you know, she want to be a part of Wakanda so bad, so bad. You know that she old culture vulture and y'all just, you know, I mean, y'all love the lady. Y'all love her to death. I love her too. She a Libra. But it's just, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Do you do some of this stuff? On purpose, are you doing this because your mama is the all rich and powerful wizard of Oz? Is this the reason why you do have the shiz you do? Because see, let me tell you something about that Kim Kardashian and that Kris Kardashian. Those two have the power to make a phone call and be like, end it. Dead his career. Destroy him. I believe that his mama or that her mama got so much power that some of these men that be a part of the Kardashian women's life, they don't have a choice but to conform. 